Hurricane Dorian coming into view clearly from this external high definition camera. At 7 a.m. Eastern Time, it was reported to be about 30 miles west southwest of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, 40 miles northeast of Cape Lookout, North Carolina. Maximum sustained wind speeds for Dorian are reported at 90 miles per hour currently with higher gusts, and hurricane conditions are spreading north along the portions of coastal North Carolina, while tropical storm conditions are still affecting the northern portion of South Carolina's coast. Dorian still very clearly defined. However, the National Hurricane Center does expect the hurricane to become a post-tropical cyclone by tomorrow night, Saturday. An amazing view as we look down into the eye of Hurricane Dorian, the International Space Station flying 261 statute miles just off the coast of New Jersey. The storm is traveling toward the northeast about 14 miles per hour, and this is the same general motion expected through Saturday, along with an increase in the wind speed. The forecast for the rest of the day for Dorian calls for the center to move over the coast of North Carolina during the next several hours. It should then move to the southeast of New England tonight and tomorrow morning, then across Nova Scotia late Saturday and Saturday night.
Dorian still in view as the International Space Station is flying 261 statute miles north of Bermuda. As we previously mentioned, this is an astronaut's eye view, and some of the astronauts have also been taking photos of Dorian as it waxed and waned in strength over the last week. You can see those photos on their social media pages. That's NASA's Christina Cook, Nick Haig, and Andrew Morgan, who are all on Twitter. Thank <laughs> you. 